So welcome back. This time we're going to be talking about the Third Circle Protocol and how it relates to aging parents. We're all aging, you, I, and our parents are aging. And how do we manage that relationship as it changes? Managing it with grace and charm and kindness so that nobody feels irritated or put upon. It's very uncomfortable for the parents who are feeling vulnerable. They're no longer in charge of their life or what's happening to them. And they feel scared. And we have to remember that we have to work with them on our value system. So if your values consist of kindness or generosity of spirit or laughter, or whatever it is, remember to bring those values into the relationships with your aging parents. Yes, there'll be times you'll be irritated. Yes, there'll be times you'll be tired and exhausted after working and still having to do the caretaking. But remember the values. With aging parents, we not only have to consider our own values, but most importantly, we have to consider their values. They've lived all their long life living their value system, and now suddenly someone else is imposing their values, like your values, on top of theirs. So be cognizant of the importance of their value system. For instance, if they're the sort of people that don't believe you should air your laundry in public, as my mother used to say, then they want to keep their issues private. They want to keep them, they don't want the neighbors to know, they don't want a lot of people to know, that, and you have to know, and they feel a bit embarrassed about it. So think about it and be gentle. Be gentle with yourself and be gentle with them, and bring in your values and your priorities into the relationship with your aging parents, but remembering to use their values too. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to seeing you next time, where we'll be talking about spouses and the relationships with in-laws which can be glorious, but they can also be messy. So look forward to seeing you. See you soon.